In this video, we're going to talk about a psychological thriller movie called Deep Water from 2022. Spoiler alert. Close the door on you. The film starts with a husband and wife named Vic and Melinda. They're getting ready for a party, and Melinda tells Vic that she loves him when he helps her put on her shoe. They have a daughter named Trixie. At the party, Melinda runs into an old friend named Joel. Vic watches them from a distance and looks worried. Later, Melinda takes Joel outside, and Vic sees them kissing through a window. Surprisingly, Vic doesn't seem surprised and just stares at her. One of Vic's friends approaches him and expresses concern, saying it seems like his wife is having an affair. Vic replies that Joel and Melinda are just friends. Later on, Vic goes to the bar to get a drink, and Joel shows up. Joel compliments Vic for their hospitality and flirts with Melinda. Vic asks Joel about a man named Martin McRae, and Joel confirms that he knows him. Vic admits that he killed Martin because he saw him with his wife. Joel becomes terrified when he hears this and decides to leave the party. When they get home, Vic massages his wife and asks her about Joel. Melinda says that Joel might be dumb, but he turns her on. Vic is then asked to leave and close the door. It's revealed that they sleep in different rooms. After leaving, Vic goes to his private snail lab where he spends most of his time. The next day, Vic drops off Trixie at school. Vic's story about Martin McRae has spread and become viral among one of the student's parents. When Vic meets up with his friends Tom and Miles for lunch, they express concern about Melinda's behavior and encourage Vic to control her so he doesn't look bad. Later, at that house, Melinda knows about what Vic told Joel at the party, so she invites Joel for dinner and he must apologize to him. During dinner, Melinda flirts with Joel in front of Vic and even criticizes Vic's cooking. Melinda eventually uses Trixie as an excuse to get Vic off the table so she can have a long time with Joel. Vic sees that Melinda is drunk. Melinda kisses Joel and notices him. She asks him to get Joel a drink before going upstairs. Joel asks Melinda to apologize for a joke about Martin McRae. Vic tells Joel that he doesn't need to apologize because he actually used a hammer to kill Martin. Vic makes Joel leave. A few days later, Vic meets a writer named Don at a party. Don's wife, Kelly, joins them. Melinda tells Don and Kelly that Vic retired from making chips for military drones. Don immediately criticizes Vic because he believes the chips Vic made are used to kill people from a distance. Don is silenced when Vic explains that he is a genius and very wealthy. Don brings up the rumors about Martin McRae and judges Vic, saying it's not something to joke about. As the party goes on, Vic dances with Kelly while Melinda watches and feels jealous. She hides her jealousy with a chuckle. On the way home, Melinda confronts Vic about Kelly, asking if he wants to sleep with her. Vic tries to remain calm but Melinda reminds him that he belongs to her by performing a sexual act on him as soon as they arrive home. They passionately make love in bed. The next day, while they are watching Trixie play soccer, Vic receives a call from the bank about Melinda's bounce check. Vic discovers that his wife tried to send $3,000 to a man named Charles for piano lessons. Vic eventually finds Charles at a nearby lounge where Melinda is attending his performance. Vic drinks at the lounge without Melinda knowing he's there. Vic does nothing except stare at Melinda. When he returns home, he finds Melinda's ring in the sink, indicating that she doesn't want Charles to know she's married. Shortly after, Melinda arrives home drunk and tells Vic about her great dinner with a new friend. Vic then tells Melinda about the news he heard regarding Martin McRae's death. Vic sees Charles walking with flowers on their way home with Trixie. He throws the flowers in the trash, implying his disapproval. As their unhealthy marriage continues, more conflicts arise. Vic spends time in the snail lap while Melinda makes love with Charles in a car. One day, Vic confronts Melinda after he's had enough. Melinda worsens the situation by telling him about her wild adventure with Charles, which resulted in some marks on her body. Vic wants her to stop seeing Charles and live a normal family life. Melinda refuses and walks away. Later, during another party, Melinda introduces Charles to everyone, including Vic. That night, Vic observes his wife playing with Charles when everyone leaves the pool due to rain. Vic drowns Charles in the pool. When Melinda discovers Charles's body floating in the water, she screams. The police arrive to investigate. 
Melinda quickly accuses Vic of killing Charles, but Vic's friends don't believe it and think Melinda is shocked. One night, Vic asks for a divorce, but Melinda opposes it. Vic wonders why she isn't afraid of him despite believing he murdered Charles. Melinda claims she isn't scared because she's the reason he kills. Vic takes Don to his snail's lab and asks him to spread rumors that he killed Charles. Don challenges Vic to take a lie detector test, which Vic agrees to. One day, Vic notices Melinda having lunch with another man. He joins them and interrogates the man, who turns out to be a private investigator hired by Melinda. Vic goes straight to Don's house and shows him a bank record of a large transfer from Melinda to Don for hiring the private investigator. Again, Vic sees Melinda with another man named Tony. Melinda quickly invites Tony to their house, openly expressing her desire for him in front of Vic. Later, Melinda taunts Tony about going to the attic with her, but Vic just watches as they start making out. Vic warns Tony to stay away from women like Melinda. One day, Vic picks up Tony, claiming they are going to meet Melinda to look at a property they want to buy. When they reach the location, Vic pushes Tony, causing him to fall and break his neck. Vic then drags Tony's body, weighs it down with stones, and abandons it in a river to drown. One day, they had a picnic at a spot where Tony's body was. Trixie had fun playing by the river. Vic quickly told her to go back to her mom. Surprisingly, he noticed Tony's body partly coming out of the water. Vic asked Melinda if she had heard from Tony. She said she hadn't heard from him for a long time. Melinda hugged Vic and asked him to sleep in her room. Vic finally received true love from Melinda. Vic went back the next day to properly dispose of Tony's body. Unfortunately for him, Don caught him in the act and drove away in his car. Vic chased him on his bike. Meanwhile, Melinda looked for Vic in his slow way. She found Tony's wallet in one of his boxes. Don texted his wife to tell her what was happening. But he dropped his phone because he's not good at doing many things at once. When he tried to reach for his phone, he lost control of his car and fell off a cliff. He died instantly. Vic, who escaped the situation, went back home on his bike. Melinda smiled and waited for him on the stairs. He asked her what was wrong, but she said nothing. Then she claimed to have seen Tony and went inside the house. It turns out Melinda burned Tony's wallet and chose to save her husband, who she turned into a crazy person.